Hello and welcome to a short demo for Word and Image. We're going to talk about uh, printing double page spreads out of InDesign. And it should be pretty simple. Uh, if you are following along and getting read to, ready to print your ABC book, uh, one, uh, one note I'd make is that um, my computer or printer at home can't print uh, large format, so I am converting my pages to smaller pages so they will fit on a piece of paper that can come out of my machine. So in your case, you'll be printing to tabloid. In my case, I have to keep it on a letter-sized sheet of paper. All right. So once you've got your design ready to print uh, on two facing pages, like so, you can go up to print. And in the printing dialog box, you have a few steps to make. Um, right off the bat, let's uh, go to the, probably the most important is make sure you are printing spreads. Notice how the tabloid or the thumbnail rather changes to show two pages side by side, P for each page. However, it's not quite fitting on the eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. We'll fix that in a second. If you have a range of pages that you want to print, say you have, you're have you printing out of a larger document, remember to plug in the two pages you want to print. In my case, it's one and two, so I say one dash two. Then we wanna to go to set up and choose your paper source. Now at the lab, US letter is the default. You should be able to click on this and choose a tabloid sheet of paper uh, for your ABC book. Um, here I can keep it on, on letter. However, the orientation is wrong, so I will change my orientation to horizontal. And then just to be neat, I will center my art on the page like that. All right, so now I can see that my two page spread is fitting on this particular sheet of paper. I do not want to hit me buttons like scaling to fit or anything like that, because that will change the actual dimensions of the artwork. Um, you might want to put in your crops and bleed marks so that we can see those crops. And you can see also that they appear in uh, very small, but they do appear on the sheet of paper in the thumbnail here. All right. And use your document bleed settings. So make sure you've clicked your use document bleed settings on there so we can see your bleed. All right. That should be all you need to do. And then you hit uh, print. Boom. And hopefully that will print. Oh no, it's going to use up all my toner. That might be a problem. So that's how you print a two page spread out of InDesign. You can also export a PDF, export a uh, ABC book spread to the demo wherever you want to choose your what choose your location i'm going to save and i believe we should be able to whoa fit height as spreads right there okay send it out as spread and uh you can choose your range but since i've only got the two pages i'm not going to worry about it and uh what do I have fit height? Yeah, it's just going to fit. This won't, you won't have to choose the size of the paper in, uh, for the purposes of an EP, uh, a PDF. All right, and I will just export that. Whoops, cancel. Did I choose to show all of my marks? I doubt I did. Let's try that one more time, export. And uh, we'll try that demo spread ABC. Boom. And it's not going to be an interactive. It's going to be for print. That's another thing we might want to make sure we've got it set up for. All right, great. And we're going to, again, export a spread. Ah, so definitely important that you uh, choose print because it changes the, the dialog box if you're printing to interactive as opposed to, to print. Printing spreads, marks and bleeds. Just need the crop marks and possibly the bleed marks. And let's see, not going to worry about any of the compressions. You might want to choose a press quality uh, or at least a high quality print so that you get the highest quality print. 
coming out so it'll look decent uh and i think that should be it we're going to export we're going to export spreads let's see how this looks and i've got it set up so it will view the pdf after exporting so it should pop open for me and there we go notice it is all set up uh the only thing i forgot to click on was to click on the use document leads that would be easy enough to fix but you can do that in class or uh, on site when you're printing yours up if you have any questions please contact me and thank you for listening <laughs>